I am so thankful for being alive. Today was a good day. I opened my eyes. Ooh, what's the deal, y'all? Y'all know me on Perky. And honey B. And we back at it again with another video. Check this out. Mansions no one wants to buy for even a dollar. That means these things gotta be so whack mean, out of place. Or haunted in the haunted spirits, ugly, unattractive, all the above love at this point. But well, we're gonna go ahead and get into it and see why these mansions in particular they know they're not a dollar. Well no, like they don't even want it for even a dollar. Okay, but even if they was they know they're not. Okay. Okay. If you've got a spare dollar lying around, you could What's be up, a dollar was that? tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Actually, scratch that. You could have the keys to your very own mansion. Sounds too good to be true, right? Yeah, well, that's it really because does. it probably is. Whenever you could pick up a million dollar mansion for pennies, there's usually a catch. And right. you're about to catch see 22. exactly what we're talking about. Really From do. party penthouses in New York with sinister reputations to one of the country's most geographically isolated properties, and even the famous former homes of controversial celebrities. That's Strap hard. in for a tour of the mansions you couldn't even pay us to live in. Living in a lakeside rock star mansion with more Sound bedrooms, good. bathrooms, and amenities than a kid could ever imagine. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale. But what's the good of having such a postcard-worthy house if you've got nobody within hundreds of miles to share it with? Over here on the windy shores of Lake Superior in Michigan, you'll find Grano Loma, a sprawling log cabin that holds the title Hello. of the largest of its kind. Oh, really live there? Hello. The is seriously huge. It spans close to 2,600 square feet boasts 23 Dang. bedrooms and comes Dang. with a bonus four separate apartments in a bungalow style outbuilding there's a private That's marina nice. a hot tub fit for a king I and a that massive that? garden area so it was listed for sale for right. a whopping 40 million dollars but even after slashing that price in half interest has been almost non-existent wow. so how come the buyers aren't circling like shops? i want to know on the one hand because i would love being to be an there. historic building grand olama's interior is severely outdated Never mind. with wall-to-wall -wall taxidermy it would oh i gotta go to nah, we, we don't do that over on here on the other hand it's alarmingly remote the nearest major city green bay is almost 200 miles south oh and did we mention the bone chilling winters imagine the cost of heating this place year after year yeah no thanks you're we'll three pass. hours away from the city from michigan let's hop down to new jersey where that's the a peculiar Vegas house trip. at 44 pleasant avenue in montclair sits unwanted unsold and unloved on the outside it presents as a historical quaint and eye-catching home would you rather buy two Big Macs or an entire house? It's not as stupid a, a question house? as you'd assume, because believe it or not, this Montclair house can be all yours for just 10 measly dollars. Why? Well, of course, there's a little That's catch. Cat. Well, Why? a pretty big catch, actually. What's the catch? The land on which it sits has been commissioned for the site of eight more houses to be built. Okay. So what does that mean exactly? If you want to buy this 100-year-old house, mm -hmm. you have to physically move it. Upheating foundations, laying new ones, hiring movers, and obtaining count Council permits to literally <laughs> drive the house down the road in the back that. of a truck. The costs add up to be astronomical. Not to mention that you'd have to avoid exposure to the toxic lead paint and asbestos and I don't care. walls while Anymore. doing so. Considering that it's historically protected, that's How easier said that? than done. The simple truth is, this American estate would cost considerably more to move and restore than it would to buy it in the first place. Oh, I'm good. Seems then. like a whole lot I mean, more yeah, effort than it's worth. Oh yeah, considering the fact that it would cost $10. Wouldn't it be sweet to live in a oh. celebrity house? Oh, no, you right. I forgot about that. find you out know. that Brad Pitt or David Beckham or the Queen of England once lived in this that house. That doesn't make Holy me want to live there. Right, the oh my god. skyrocketing. But if the house in question is 50 cents old mansion, this enormous piece of real estate in Connecticut, then that couldn't be further from reality. Even Connecticut purchased the mammoth-sized property from none other than Mike Tyson for $4.1 million back in 2003. Since trying to sell it for $18.5 million, the response has been nothing but crickets. But mm. why? What's wrong with it? The house sports two stunning pools, one That's indoors beautiful. and one outdoors, plus a hot tub, several game rooms, a recording studio, a pair of What's basketball courts, and believe it or not, a nightclub. All up, there are fifty rooms Why in do you have a nightclub? Palace, Twenty-one of which are bedrooms. Its unfathomable size is the main reason for its failure to sell. 
Even the most extravagant billionaires out there don't need a 52 room house. The ongoing heating, Did electricity, and cleaning costs would be no, absurd. good. I think um, the Rick Ross house is 100 bedrooms. The slashed the selling price, eventually it's dropping it by as much as 84 percent to a lowly 2.9 million. That is beautiful. That's it. 52. Right. Girl, I'll be up in your own care. So the Speaking catch was that it just had to be rooms. Turn your attention to the one of a kind, one hundred million dollar Neverland Ranch, sitting in Santa Barbara County, California. This oh, property is, is as much of a house as it is an amusement park, with a fifty seat movie theater, a dance studio, oh, my... barns, no, a fire station, a, a Disney themed railway station and train, a lagoon style swimming pool, and a tennis court. The tennis? property spans a humongous 2,700 acres, and yet, even though the selling price has been lowered again and again, savvy real estate buyers have stayed away. The attitude Why? stems from one reason and one reason alone, Does he live there? the tainted legacy of its former owner, Man, I'll be up in that thing. superstar Michael Jackson. The rebranded Sycamore Valley Ranch was so last seen at $31 million, that was his dollars, place? Mm -hmm. less than a third of its original asking price of 100 it sat on the market for close oh, to five oh. years without so much as and a the second I got out, before somebody would have to find me. Despite I'm its fairy tale cooking. facade, the I'm public prefers cooking. to steer clear of this controversial landmark. He as really was like a kid at West heart. Coast to East yeah. Coast, have a gander at this luxurious apartment over in the ritzy Upper East Side of Manhattan. It recently belongs to Gianni Agnelli, one time husband to Bridget Bardot. But he bought it from none other than the legendary fashion designer Roy Halston Froick. Roy purchased the party pad way back in 1974, so it should come as no surprise that this sleek apartment, with its notable wide open spaces and minimalist design, became a non-stop mm. party hub in the 70s, welcoming a long list of well-known personalities. It was listed for sale for $38 million in 2011, and remained unsold for the better part of a decade, even mm. after the price was slashed to $24 million. Those who could afford it simply preferred to buy something that doesn't come with such a controversial, colorful, dramatic mm -hmm. reputation. And they probably uh, prefer a place that oh, featured hand railings on I the stairs as well. Where the elevator at? As we skip across the pond to the UK, 25 miles outside of London, we'll find this jaw-dropping mega mansion. Back in 2005, with an asking price of that $138 thing went, not for million, the dollars, though. this was the mm. most expensive house on the planet. And you're about to see why. With 50,000 square feet of space, it's larger in size than both Buckingham Palace and Hampton Ooh, Court buddy. Palace. To declare this place was fit for a king would be an understatement. Sitting on over 58 acres of land, this enviable residence boasts, ready for this, 103 separate rooms. Imagine playing huh. hide and seek in this place. That number <laughs> includes two <laughs> oh, bedrooms and his own beautiful Ooh, my marble That's nice. lined and sweet bathroom. Plus, a squash court, home theater, wine cellar, sauna, gym, equestrian field, what the soccer my? pitch, bowling alley, Hello? tennis court, and a dedicated panic room. That ain't Five no panic room. That's for the freaks. Line of property. That's the S&M type stuff. And the $6 million marble-heated driveway is worth more than most houses in the country the on its own. So why does nobody want to buy it? Nobody asked the bottom that, line so. is that it's just too darn expensive. Right, Nobody okay. needs a place this big. You'd pay millions in regular bills and upkeep alone. We don't even have 100 family members. Have you ever wanted to live in your own castle? Well, no. you could have, because Bannerman Castle in New York was up for sale. There was just one issue. It's only, well, That's ugly. barely half a castle. The residence, which was initially used as a place to store artillery, blew up in 1920. Then, I'm half a century there, later, a fire swept through the building, <laughs> effectively <laughs> destroying the roof there. and the foundations. What we were left with was a collection of crumbling walls on an island only accessible by boat. The boat which, by the way, sank to the bottom of the Hudson during a storm in 1950. Without care. much interest from the public, the Bannermans eventually sold the decaying castle and the land on which it sat to New York State, who've since closed the area to the public that. and sold the I'm relics to the that. Smithsonian. Over in Europe, so long as you choose the right country, the cost of living and the cost of real estate is exceptionally cheap. Far Eastern nations like Romania and Bulgaria are budget friendly. Likewise, Poland and Hungary. Rarely does anybody put the popular tourist nation of Italy in that same basket. That's about to change. In the town of Ololai, these homes Ololai, are practically I like that. Given Ololai. Away. We're not kidding here. You can buy anxiety. your very Why own house in Sardinia's mountain right? region of Barbagia for just Barbagia. one dollar. Well, technically it's one euro, which is about a buck twenty. 
still a pretty serious problem in that. our books. So why have these Mediterranean stone-built houses not been I swept know. up like hotcakes? Because the incredible offer comes in with a rather important no asterisk. Mm -hmm. right. The properties are in right. terribly poor that. condition. Don't and buyers must that. commit to a refurbishment within three years, which will likely cost about $25,000. It's all part of a wider government plan to rejuvenate the community. With a dwindling population, like Olderlai is at it risk do. of becoming a ghost town. If you like the sound of a $1 home, but don't feel like flying across no. the Atlantic, then there's another golden basement house up for grabs in San Francisco. The Golden City is one of America's most expensive yeah, hands down, which makes the fact expensive. that there's a $1 house up for grabs Super all the more surprising. Officially known as Historic Home Number 54, and dubbed the Queen Anne for its Victorian style, this property sits in the East Bay, in the area of Hercules. The local Hercules. government intended Aww. to turn it into a visitor center, and even started the renovations by slicing the entire home in half. But then the plan fell through, and it just sat there, abandoned. Now the city of Hercules is allowing anyone to buy it for just 100 pennies, as long as they take it away. So no. while the debilitating home could that. be yours for less than the price of a cup of coffee, it'll drain a serious hole in your wallet to figure out how to carefully relocate it. Not to mention, stick it back into one piece again. I hate when they always try to charge Over people, like, Detroit, just give it to me. a plan is in place to revitalize the city. <laughs> I'm about 100 people across the, the, the metropolitan most. area are being auctioned off for prices that are just plain silly. As little as $1,000. While that's a fair chunk more than the single buck houses in Italy, it's far from a $138 million UK mansion, that's for sure. Take this one, for example. With seven bedrooms and five bathrooms, this historic Tudor-style home seems like an absolute bargain. You're probably admiring the old world charm, which is no, reminiscent no. of its 1920s like original build. But when you step inside, you might have second thoughts. The early 20th century construction hasn't changed one bit. With an immediate need for oh, new no, electrical wiring, no. plumbing, and floors, a home like this would cost tens of thousands of dollars to get back to a livable standard. Slime and plenty it. more if you're after a fully modern renovation. Would it be worth the effort? No. Or would you rather just buy a new house and save yourself all that hassle? Mm -hmm. Out the second of all the one. properties we've seen today, which one would you most like to live in? No. Let us know in the comments. Hey, Go. I'm not gonna lie to you. That hundred bedroom was nice though. They just said it was just it was too okay. much money, but it just I don't have a hundred people like you and I literally. You know we're not like lonely people where we feel lonely, but I think if I was there by myself, you would have that like spirit of loneliness. I wouldn't even be there by myself. That's doing too much. Probably the fifty bedroom one. Like we all can have like our own section. Yeah, because I was about to say the only thing I could think of is that if I was to get a place like that, it would have to be like. We the tribe, you know what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. We'd all have to pitch in, and then we just mm -hmm. and we all just share, live there. <laughs> we all just share rent. <laughs> that's so true. That's the only way I could think that's about so it. True. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Other than so that, true. it's a dub. I'm not gonna sit there and buy that house yeah, no, just for me to be there by myself. So the all the tribe would have to pitch in, and then we just even all be in the you same and, like, household. Husband, like no, it's too much. Mm -mm. Cause I'm telling you that spirit of loneliness will seep into your heart just like that. Cause you'll be like, whoa, all these rooms and nobody's in it. What's the point? You know, no. that ain't no flex to me again. But like I said, if you gonna do something where everybody come together and they all okay. sitting there putting a portion of rent, I'm with it. So mansion, no one wants for even a dollar. Which one was you guys' favorite? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Because I would love to know where y'all mindsets and what y'all taste preferences is at. You know what I'm saying? But we love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us which one is in the comment section down below. All of our social media is in the description down below. And right here, 500K is on the way. Ooh, my phone almost fell. Tell me she don't sound like a news reporter. She, Shut up. No, that was pretty good. You did that. You've been doing that very well lately. I'm proud of you. And do. Flips hair. Don't care. She can never just say thank you. Like, it's always a and do, and did, and, and, and will. And do it again. And don't care. Perry. Perry. <laughs> Don't do extra. <sighs> y'all know me. Y'all know that's not touching my face. Y'all know what I'm about to say. We lie, baby. Yeah.